And Chogun's gonna be going with this. Uh, Alright, gonna be running game one to Smashville. Good neutral stage. I think it's the, the best starter stage, the best stage in general. Oh no, I screwed up. Good grab, good up air, back to another grab, another up air. Quick 39%. DTG adds me back a little bit, but he's going to be eating a PK fire for those jabs. Jogan off to a pretty early start. There we go. Uh, PK Thunder going to be gunning him with a little bit of the tail, but not much else. So PK Thunder 2 would have definitely killed. Going to use a back throw for positioning. Uh, Z2G recovering high with that down B, I believe. I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't know the knees. But, uh, we got a down throw up air. Definitely. Ooh, not going to be eating a punish. Choking, whiffing the grab. Off stage again. PK Thunder not going to be doing anything. Z2G opting for cover high. Another down throw. Air dodge read into the up B. That's going to be taking it. The piston punch is nuts. Uh, it's like way too good. Uh, grab a few pounds into back throw. That's going to be taking uh, the stock, you know. Ness, easy back throw, easy life. Jabs coming out from Z2G, getting choking off stage, but he's not going to be able to let strap too hard. Choking with these grabs. Getting Z2G onto the Smash Board platform. That could have been devastating if Choking were a little bit farther or you were able to capitalize a little bit more. Because Ness's base knockback on that forward throw is juicy. Another down throw forward air. Going to be getting better positioning again. PK Thunder is going to be connecting that time. Z2G running away and Choking intelligently throwing his PK Thunder into the ground so that nothing happens. But Z2G is not done yet. Oh, he's walking away, respecting the space, you know. Okay, good normal getup. Using his iframes to get past that PK fire. Now, Ness just spacing out these aerials, trying to see if something sticks, and neutral got him off stage, but, you know, Ness doesn't really have many tools to just get a raw kill off stage uh, without putting yourself in danger. Ooh, tail and main hit of PK Thunder connecting. Another raw PK Thunder head connecting. And now, ZGG is way past the kill percent for the back throw. He's got to be really careful right now, because the back throw just ended so quick. And choka has got to be careful too, though. Oh, that's going to be it. That was a, uh, that was a quick grab, quick back throw. <laughs> Tom, look, if you check the bracket. It was first to 10 million. <laughs> 2 to negative 12. <laughs> you want to fix that, he took game the game. Game 2, going to be running it to Dreamlight. <laughs> Choking getting an early grab. Early Will that affect the PR statistics? Up. Did he get negative 12 games? Another down throw, for, another uh, up. He's just getting all of his percent right now. But I can understand the pick for the stage. You know, Dreamland, no lower ceiling. With those platforms, going to be a lot easier to land uh, that down throw up air into up B, or just down air. I mean, I'm sorry, down throw raw up B for that kill. But you know, Z2G getting his footing a little bit, getting a little more damage, but choking, busting out of whatever he had within there. And yeah, Chogun getting a lot better start than last time. Down throw forward air, forward air is not going to be sticking, but that dash attack will be. Throwing out more nares. Yeah, Chogun's just making sure that he just pokes with these aerials. If CGG drops shield, he's going to be eating a punish, and if he stays in shield, he won't be able to do much in exchange. Holy shit. Esports. ZGG landing a meaty dash attack. That has a lot more knockback than I thought it would. But he's going to raw up B, landing on the platform safely. Oh, another up B, but the noggin doesn't come out quite soon enough. And the raw up B is going to be taking it on that lower platform. That move is so good. It's too bad it's on a bad character. Well, I wouldn't say bad, but an, less than average character. Back throw, going to be taking it. Not the, not the best DI. Not the best DI from ZG. He's laughing about it. Back air, not. Nair into grab, into with up air. Choke is not going to be able to punish too hard out of it. Get it gets a nice little 29% though. And down throw to raw up B. That's going to be taking game to the Yeah. 
So to see 2G saying, since he was out of down air, I mean down throw up air, up B range, he simply down throw up B, you know, for that easy kill. Yeah, that was looking a lot better for Z2G. Choken started off the game snowballing very, very hard, but Z2G with that raw up B on the lower platforms just easily took that game. And game three is going to be running it to final destination. So I'm not too sure who the stage favors. I don't know these characters too well. I would imagine. Uh, uh, I, I would say me brawler, just because uh, like the, he needs to punish off these landings, and this will make it a lot easier. Uh, feeling each other out a little bit. Not, nothing really sticking so far. No one really has a crazy lane, but ZGG charging up that punch. And we have a perfectly even game. Good uh, tomahawk run up grab from CGG. Isn't able to get a throw many times. Choking smash is serious business, but down throw up air up B, taking it at 82%. That is not okay. That's like ding dong. But better. Alright, Choking getting CGG up in the air. Not able to capitalize on it too hard. Yeah, Z2G just flying around in the air a little bit, trying to just dodge all Choken's moves. Back throw is going to connect, but no rage, it's just going to get him off stage. Choken isn't able to keep him off stage, he's going to be eating a little bit for that. Yeah, Z2G is doing a lot better job this game, you know, just finding the openings and getting the percent that he needs, and then cleaning it up with that uh, down throw to either up air, up beat, or just raw up beat. And right now, Choken may or may not be in that kill percent. But that was a good pivot grab with the pack throw. He's going to be taking that as first stop. Yeah. Now ZGG lost his rage, and he's going to be needing a, quite a bit more percent in order to get Choken into that sweet kill spot. The raw bat coming out. Choken, uh, you know, audibly a little upset. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Choke is just throwing out these bats. Down throw, up air to nothing. It's not going to connect. One more time. He's going to dodge it one more time. But uh, Choken may be in down throw to up B range. Or raw up B will kill at this percent. He's got to just find something and hope it works. Ooh, that was a very scary uppercut coming out from ZGG. But Choken wisely rolling behind. Oh, he... Oh, Saibi's not going to be taking it quite yet. Saibi is a pretty potent kill, similar to Fal Captain Falcon's Raptor boost, but I think it's a little bit better because, uh, for one, it's a multi-hit, so it punishes drop shield, and uh, two, you can use it in the air pretty effectively. Oh, another Saibi coming out. That's going to be taking it. Zuchi-G takes it over Choken. Two, one. Good stuff to both players. Z2G doing a pretty good job of adjusting. Uh, so good stuff to him. No way! Okay. Alright, next up on stream, we are going to be having. I would believe probably. On stream? So on stream, we may have Alex. Alex and Alex. Awesome. So we're going to be having Alex and It's On. All right, so Alex and It's On, they're two of the players that did not make PR this season, but they, they've made it pretty far so far. Alex a Mario main and uh, it's on a Marth main. Uh, it's on was an honorable mention in this past PR. I believe he should have been on the PR. You know, he's really good. But I don't know, he's been turning up uh, these past few weeks. If anyone else wants to go on stream, I think we can let them because right now Alex 